I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello, collectors. Welcome to the Discount Action Figure Dude. Of course, I am your host, Christopher. As you can see, we are hanging out with some uh, members of the House of L, some members of the McFarlane Toys uh, House of L. Why would we be hanging out with uh, members of the House of L? Because we are going to be taking a look at a member of the House of L. In the McFarlane 2 pack of Batman Beyond and Justice Lord Superman. Full disclosure. Um, I don't care about Batman Beyond. I bought this for uh, Justice Lord Superman. I really don't care about Batman Beyond. But he's in here, and uh, we're going to open him and take a look at him too. But we're here for Justice Lord Superman. Excited to get this. But uh, with no further ado, let's cut these dudes open. Uh, as I cut this open and we look into this package, and many people have said this in regards to Mr. McFarlane and his figures, this is actually a very nice backdrop, a, a Todd. However, I have to destroy this backdrop to get to my cherished uh, trading cards and my uh, uh, stands, which, you know, I don't have any of. Yeah, Todd McFarlane really uh, wakes up and starts his day by seeing what the uh, discount action figure dude has to say about things, but it's a really nice backdrop. I, I hate that I have to ruin it. And also, uh, this is a this is a well packaged thing. Uh, the, uh, this is this is nice. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, that doesn't make my affinity to Batman Beyond any stronger, but uh, yeah, I like I like this. But let's let's continue cutting this sucker open. And here goes Terry and Cal uh, out of the box, both looking really good. And even though I don't have an affinity towards Batman Beyond, and if Todd were to ask me personally, I would have done a two-pack uh, consisting only of Justice Lords, maybe uh, Justice Lords Wonder Woman, the one who wears pants. And we know that Todd loves him some Batman, maybe some Justice Lords Batman. But that being said, uh, Terry over here does look good. They have all of their accessories the uh, uh, with their uh, trading cards, stands, a couple of hands to both of them. Batman has some fancy batterings. We absolutely positively have to file these beautiful cards. Just the proper way, like we always do. And, uh, man, these look good. Let's take a closer look at Justice Lord Superman and Batman Beyond. Here goes Superman and Batman on the little diorama stand, which looks pretty good, if you do say so. A little bit on the plasticky side, but it is completely plastic, so that is not to be unexpected. We went ahead and put a, a, bat, a batarang in Batman's hands. I don't know if that's going to actually be of any assistance against Superman, but I am sure that Batman's uh, mentor has uh, some contingencies for this guy. They both look really good. Let's say we uh, take uh, Superman off the uh, stand and take a closer look at this guy. Obviously, this is a, a Superman who is not very happy. His eyes are lit up. He's ready to, to eye laser, ocular, ocular beam somebody. The S looks great. It is super clean. The costume and everything else looks very good. We do love the way this guy is, looks. We put his uh, his claw hands uh, on him. 
because you know this they 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 look pretty they're pretty gnarly they they're all gnarled up yeah this is one this is one angry superman and it looks like uh and he's not as uh muscular it would seem his legs look a little bit on the slender side which could be a nod to the to the comic book or movie uh superman but they aren't too bad but yeah, superman looks uh looks very nice uh, the cape is a bit, a bit stylized for me. I would prefer just to drape, but I get it. It's on, he belongs on this diorama thing. It gives it a little bit more drama, and here goes the back of Superman. Not much happening, because he's got this awesome cape, uh, uh, protecting him, his, his rear. You know, so, uh, of course, if you care about Superman's, uh, articulation he is a McFarlane figure so there isn't a lot that he can't do that you are not accustomed to he is he is a very very uh, standard you know McFarlane Superman body pretty good ab crunch back you know pretty good ab crunch forward decent head movement but yeah we do these are a little stiff, but that's okay. We do like the way this guy looks. He is a beauty. <laughs> and we do love his uh, his uh, graying temples. Yeah, there's not a lot to like. There's not a lot not to like about this uh, figure. We do. Even his turtleneck going all the way up there. We, we, we like that. We like that too. <laughs> you know. And now here goes Superman preparing to play the piano. Yeah, we like that Superman right there. So let's uh, say we take a closer look at uh, Terry. Batman looks very good too. You know, he's much. He's a much simpler character. Obviously, he consists of a black mold and a little bit of uh, green paint. But the lines on his uh, figure are very clean. Uh, one would have thought that maybe the lines could have continued through the knee pads, uh, but they don't, so we're not going to worry about it. But otherwise, he looks very good. Also, you know, if if they wanted to, I do believe there is some decoration on his uh, on his belt buckle they could have in included. The only question that I have, and I could be wrong here, is that there's nothing back here. There's nothing happening back here in the back of Batman. I mean, nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, this could be comic accurate for all I know. <laughs> but I would think that there'd be, I don't know, something going on back there. A little paint, you know, just a little sculpt, a little something. But it's pretty plain. But, you know, as long as you don't, you know, pose him like this. Because now he's Batwing. You keep him uh, to the front, facing the front. He looks, he looks pretty darn good. You know? And of course, we do like his uh, articulated uh, wings. They work very well. So we got these two guys at Amazon. Oh yeah, and and this this is a deal that works because the retail price for this is thirty nine ninety nine, which isn't bad actually. That's pretty you know this is a standard going price for a two pack, a good price for McFarlane two pack. They had them on sale for $30, $29.99. On top of that, they had the little green box there, which you checked for another 20% off, which then made the figures $24. So, yeah, that is a pretty good value right there. But, yeah, and plus, we got ourselves two pretty good figures. You know, one figure might be a little better than the other, or a lot better than the other. Mainly because it means more to be having a Justice Lord Superman than a uh, uh, Batman Beyond 2.0, who does look good. You know, we're not trying to sell him short. He does look good. But uh, what kind of value do we assign these two figures? Well, Justice Lord Superman is of immeasurable value to me. I am glad to have a Justice Lord uh, Superman. And we'll call uh, Batman Beyond a throw-in. A good throw-in. But he's a throw-in. Because I would have paid uh, $20 or $24 for this. But to get the, both of these figures for $24, 
Uh, I think that's a raw dog value right there, my friend. A raw dog value. And Tom said a diorama. Shoot. Raw dog value.